And breaking news right now, a motel standoff finally coming to an end. These are pictures from Goodlettsville. Officers just moved in within the last half hour. News Channel 5 Sophie Nielsen Colding has been on the scene and she was there when this all went down. Sophie, you just got brand new details from police. Just within the last 30 seconds, we do know that it was two, four people in total, uh, two females, two males. They were all juveniles except for one of them had actually just turned 18. And here's what we know that uh, they had some uh, basically juvenile warrants out for their arrest. The the two uh, teenage boys did. Um, as I said, one has since turned 18, though. Uh, Metro had warrants out for some auto burglaries, and uh, Goodlitzville had juvenile warrants out for them for uh, assault. Now, they knew uh, police had come and surrounded the hotel. They wouldn't come out. Um, Police think that one of them had been in contact with his mother and that she had may may have persuaded them to come out peacefully. It was this had gone on for a couple of hours. Police had surrounded it with guns, evacuated the whole hotel. Um, now, interesting to note, though, police in Madison had a brief pursuit, a brief chase uh, with a car that is parked outside of this hotel here. So they think it may have been the same people. Now, the two teenage girls who were also inside, um, they don't know if they just happened to be with them. They're not sure uh, how they're connected in all of this. As of right now, police aren't sure what these pending charges might be, but all four of them are in custody and nobody was hurt. So this was able to have um, somewhat of a good outcome with nobody getting hurt. For now, live in Goodlistville, Sophie Nelson Colding, News Channel 5.